Tanya here in the Conservancy backfield and I have a fun activity for you to try at home. What I have here is a hula hoop, but today our hula hoop is going to act as a quadrat. Now a quadrat is something used in science a lot, especially field biology, when scientists need to study a really large area, a large cover of habitat. So what a quadrat does is it breaks down a large area into manageable areas for us to study. So it's going to be looking at the distribution of an organism, whether it's insects, plants, a certain type of small mammal, whatever it is, you can break it down into a smaller area with something like this, a quadrat. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss it down into some randomly chosen areas and we're going to use that to just can't, to count our species in just that specific hula hoop. And from there, I can use a mathematical analysis to average the types of species and the number of species I found within the hula hoop compared to the rest of the field because this field is pretty big. It would take me a very long time to go through every single type of plant or insect to count what's going on. So a quadra is something really cool that we're going to use today and you guys can try in your backyard to study whatever it is you have back there. Hey guys, so we've got our first transect here. This is sample site one. We're going to do this a few more times but let's talk about what we have to do once we have our first location. Enclosed within this hula hoop space is our quadrat, our study area, and we're going to be tallying every single insect that we find just within this area. In order to do this, you're gonna need a few materials. You'll need a pencil and some paper. You can see here that I've already, the wind's blowing it, but I've already made some columns for insects that we're gonna tally. I also have a magnifying glass. This will help you a lot uh, if you happen to have one of these. Use them, get a closer look at those insects that you find. And then finally, a white piece of paper or a white paper plate like I have. You can place an insect on there and get a closer look at it so it's not so camouflaged in the grass. All right, ready to move on? So now I am looking through this quadrat and trying to find the insects with my magnifying glass. <clears throat> when you're doing this with your quadrat, and you probably will have a hula hoop or something like it at home, just start at one end of the circle and make sweeps back and forth like this. You'll be able to catch every single insect that way. And then once you get to the very end and you've made all of your tallies, go ahead and move on to the next quadrant. You can pick this up then and toss it again if you only have one hula hoop or if you have multi hula hoops, just walk, just walk to the next one that you, uh, that you threw. Now, as I look through this transect here, I'm going to be tallying, marking a line for each individual insect I find. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of fire ants. I can call those fire ants or red ants up top. I'll uh, give myself a space in the com to sketch it and then start marking tallies. So I'm gonna keep on doing this and uh, let's see what else we find. Now because your quadra does double as a hula hoop, don't forget to take fun breaks because science is always fun. Science is fun! Hi again, Tanya here and I have my quadra where I'm looking at plant species. So right now I am going to start counting the types of flowering plants I see. So if I look in this quadra, I'm first going to try to identify just how many different types of species there are and make that note on my data sheet. And then I'm going to be trying to look at a systematic approach to count all of this. As you can see, it may be a small area to count, but there's still a lot growing just within this hula hoop. So I'm going to start at the bottom here and go in lines as I start to count the different species. And for each type of species I see, I'm going to make a tally mark on my data sheet. So you can see that there's at least three different types of flowering plants just within this one hula hoop. Good luck, guys.